Here in Berlin, we are lucky to have a special event called the Bathtub Races. Where else can you go and find the hometown charm of the Eastern Shore? Lots of shops to shop in, lots of restaurants to eat at, and all still with one-of-a-kind extravaganza called the Bathtub Races. Out in the Light does have a bathtub in the races, and I might be a little bit biased, but I think we just might take it all this year. And when I uh, got here today, I was expecting uh, an antique store. Tell me all about all the changes that you've been making here. In the last few years, we did have one of the biggest antique stores in Berlin. Uh, that has changed. I have a gift shop now, and uh, we still have two antique malls in town. The gift shop is uh, what I'm working on the most anymore, and it takes up a lot of my time, but I think if anybody comes and visits this gift shop, they will find that it's absolutely a marvelous place to visit. And now that it's not an antique shop anymore, what would you say is the oldest thing in here? You know, the, the oldest thing besides me <laughs> is the Zoltar machine. Oh, I think I can actually hear him going off right now, it, uh, telling some fortunes. People love it. Um, not only do we have a Zoltar machine, but very soon we'll have a uh, penny smashing machine here. So it, it's something to add to the adventures of people shopping in Berlin making Berlin feel more like the boardwalk, right? It's eventful when people come and they have, they find things to do that are a little bit out of the ordinary. Tell our viewers, tell uh, uh, some new customers what they're gonna find right when they walk in the door. When you walk into Out in the Lights, we have a, a marae of all kinds of things in this store. We have the, um, all the Berlin memorabilia. We have a ladies section with purses, sweaters, all kinds of beach wear. We have a home goods section, which is, a, a, people just have to come in and look at it. It's, abs, it's wonderful, including tea towels and all kinds of um, cards and anything you can think of. We also have a record area, lots of books in the kids section and all kinds of squish melons and things they can play with up on the beach. So Halloween, we have, we also have Christmas and, and most of all we have, um, a giant nautical area, which is really cool. I mean, it's really nice. Yeah, what's up with all the mermaids uh, hanging out here? You know, downtown Berlin, we have something that's one and only in the whole United States, probably the whole world, and it's the Mermaid Museum. We're right across the street from that Mermaid Museum. I have a, a, lots of mermaids, lots of mermaids all over, the, all over our store, and it seems to be a nice thing to have around and people are really excited about it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of a mermaid museum. I know, it's it's amazing. It's like, where else are you gonna find one? <laughs> it's here in Berlin. If nothing else, come to see the Mermaid Museum. Driving into town, uh, I saw a, a really special mural uh, coming in. It said, Berlin, powered by kindness. So what does that mean to you? You know, Berlin is in its own bubble. I mean, Berlin is actually a peaceful area. Most of the people in town are very friendly to anybody that comes along. It's, um, it's one of a kind. It really is a gym. I mean, you get not too far from us. Like the other day, we had the cruisers here. And while the cruisers were here, it started raining. But it quit raining in Berlin, and everywhere around us, it was still raining. It just stopped raining in Berlin. The sun was shining. It was, it, that's how unbelievable it is. A very special town. It is. Now, is there anything else that you want to let uh, our viewers or any new customers know about? Yes. Um, I, I like Berlin to be open longer than 530. And I'm really working on trying to get Berlin to start staying open, especially during the weekdays, all summer long, maybe through September, start closing up at 8. So everybody can come and dine here, um, walk around, see the shops, actually have shops to go into and we're gonna be one, of, I have two antique stores and a gift shop, and they, we're all gonna be open till eight o'clock, and I think that, just to let people know that the town of Berlin is gonna be opening a lot later in the evening for, the, for this season and all the seasons thereafter. Yeah, Bill, I'm looking forward to you bringing a little nightlife to town. Yeah, it's gonna be kinda nice. I really like that. I think that's something that's needed here, and we're actually gonna make that happen. Hey, thank you so much for, uh, for speaking with us today, and hey, good luck today in the races, okay? Yes.
that's going to be great.